testing. So we must observe this. And that is what we started observing in step two in the last class yesterday. Now with this two background, now we can move on to step three, which is quite a simple extension of step two. So we are just asking that this transaction that is taking place between the self and the body, right? Who is taking the decision? Who is the decision maker? So the question is who is deciding to give instruction to the body or to read a specific sensation from the body? Is it the self? Is it the body? Is it both of them? So we have to see this in step three, that when I am giving some instruction to the body, when the self is giving instruction to the body, some instruction, who is taking the decision, the self or the body? When some sensation is read from the body, right, by the self, who is taking the decision, the self or the body? very important thing to observe. So I took this example that you know, the self wanted to you know, eat or get the taste of the sweet. So it instructed the body to walk up to the sweet shop, take out the money, pay money, you know, take the sweet from the shop, put it in your mouth, all these instructions you are giving. Now, who is taking the decision for this instruction to give? Is it the self or is it the body? Similarly, when this sweet is kept on in the mouth, it touches the tongue, right? You read the sensation from the tongue. Sensation of the taste of the sweet. Who is taking the decision to read the sensation from the tongue, you know? Sensation of taste from the, from the tongue. or any sensation for that matter. So work on this from now onward till tomorrow morning. Right. What we find when we observe this, we find that it is the self who is taking decision of giving instruction to the body. And it is the self who is taking decision for needing some sensation from the body. So both way the decision is made by the self. Both way the choice lies with the self and not the body. So so many sensations are going on in the body, in different parts of the body. But you don't read all the sensations. You, the self decides which sensation, which sensation is important. Right? And it deals that sensation by choice. It leaves the sensation by choice. 
and more important that than that is that i am not reading the sensation from the body all the time i read the sensation from the body as and when i consider it important so very interesting these two things we have written down here i interact with the body as and when i consider it important otherwise i don't and you would slowly notice that most of the time i don't interact with the body i am busy with myself most of the time i am busy with myself right i don't have time to pay attention to the body but if i consider it important i pay attention to the body to the sensation of the body and i do it for a while you know for the time being and then i am back to myself i am back to myself observe this very important observation from now onward till tomorrow morning right 24 hours right 24 into 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds and so on it every moment we have to see whether i am interacting with the body or not interacting with the body number 1 number 2 when i am interacting it with the body right who is deciding for the instruction to be given to the body the self or the body and similarly at time when i am reading some sensation from the body who is deciding this choice you know to read the sensation from the body and there also which sensation to read because whole lot of sensation is going on in the body so observe this very important observation to make you know it will reveal lot of things about the interaction between the self and the body lot of things about the interaction with of the self with the body and in fact if you look at you know the way we are busy today most of our time you know we are busy with this interaction right and you would interestingly find that you are not interacting most of the time but assumption you know so you go with the assumption that whenever you are not interacting directly with the body still you go with the memory of it or the possibility of it in future so your self is busy with the past of this you know interaction or future of this interaction so even when it is not interacting with the body really at that moment of time it is busy with this thinking of what happened in the past in association with the body or what will happen in future but what we are saying is that observe it every moment number one whether you are interacting with the body at all or not and second when you are interacting with the body what is this interaction interaction um, inter interaction going on who is the deciding for this in interaction the instruction given to the body is decided by the self or the body sensation rate from the body is decided by the self or the body so if i do all this there are two important conclusions that we can see one is that the body acts according to the instruction of the self and the other is that i use the body as for my decision i use the body as an instrument so body is not asserting itself all the decisions are taken by me they are taken by me not by the body so decision for giving instruction to the body is decided by me the decision for reading some sensation from the body is also taken by the self so both way it is the self which is deciding and the self is using the body as an instrument
as and when it finds it important from time to time not continuously so work through this from now onward till tomorrow morning and we'll have lot of things to share so some of the statements written here i can just read it out that you will see for yourself i decide what to do i mean self what to do and what not to do at the level of self i decide my desire thought and expectation at the level of body where my involvement is required whenever my involvement is required i give instruction to the body in accordance with the work i want to take from the body and the body does accordingly so whatever instruction i give the body does that but it is me who is taking the decision i operate the body as per my decision i use the body like an instrument right second i use the test from the sensation so when i am reading a sensation from the body i use the test from that sensation to decide what is to be done with the body with the outside world so my interaction with the body my interaction with the world outside also is based on this you know reading of sensation from the body right which i am deciding when to read that sensation not when not to read that sensation but when i decide to read the sensation and i read that sensation then on the basis of that i am deciding what to do with the body or what to do with the world outside this the details we will see when we go to step 5 you will see the details of how we are interacting with the body or with the world outside no on the basis of sensation that i read from the body and certain observations which you will be able to make yourself right so when we are observing the interaction between the self and the body by the self we can see that the self is the observer the self is the doer and self is the enjoyer the experiencer so i see it is the self which is seeing which is observing as and when required i use the body to see i use my five sensation to see something outside but it is basically the self who is seeing so i am the one who decides to see in that sense i am the observer i use the body as an instrument so this is one important observation the second important observation is that it is me the self who is deciding to do something as and when required from time to time i give instruction to the body in that sense i am the doer so if i am eating that sweet by going to that shop and you know uh, taking the buying the sweet and putting it in the tongue i am taking the decision for all this i am the doer and third i am the enjoyer i am the one who experiences the taste of the sweet right the body is just passing the information whatever information it gets from you know our interaction with the world outside that sensation is passed or read by the self body is not doing anything out of this and this is you know what keeps happening that you go to the mithai shop and you buy it and you put that sweet in this on the tongue and there is a sensation but in the meantime somebody has come and you start talking to him and you don't take note of the sensation so that at least this whole exercise of you now getting the right kind of taste your favorable taste the purpose is lost because when the sweet is there in contact with the tongue and there is this 
sensation of sweet right yourself is paying attention somewhere else is not paying attention to that sensation so self is not getting the information or reading the information and therefore is not getting the expected outcome of it, of it of happiness or unhappiness so if this test was as per the desired or expected this thing you will feel happy if the test is different from the expected test then you feel unhappy so it is the self who is feeling happy or unhappy unhappy so self is the experience self self is the enjoyer in that sense it is the self which is the observer to or an enjoyer the body is used as an instrument as and when required as and when required so this is what we plan to observe from now onward till tomorrow morning so unless there is some very pertinent question regarding this uh, you know working on exercise 2 is step 3 okay we will move on to this in this session but if there is something very urgent in regard to this this practice of this step 3 i can respond 